What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, Chris and I, well, okay, hold on. Let me preface this. I already shot the TNT versus the Sunstorm <laughs> yes. video, but my audio was all jacked up, so I'm redoing it. And that video would have been a banger, but instead we're gonna have to redo it. So Chris and I are gonna compare the Sunstorm to the TNT. And the reason I'm doing it, just like the title says, is because I believe that the TNT is a better, cheaper version and more versatile version of the Sunstorm. So if you didn't get one, you can get one that's better for cheaper. And that's based on the video that I did. I hope that it translates into right. today's video as well because different locations. Yeah, different location. Yeah. So you know it's not gonna be the case. Yep. But know that that is the case. So if you guys like the jersey that Chris is wearing or the jersey that I'm wearing, go to coolwake.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10, that'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description there's gonna be a link where you can order a TNT. I don't think there's any more Sunstorms available, but you're gonna to wanna to get the TNT anyway because it's better, more versatile, cheaper. Right. Uh, we're gonna be here at South Point on lane one on a fresh, typical house shot. And then in the video's description, there's gonna be links to these balls, original ball review, if you want any more information on the core, the cover, the layout, all that stuff. What I will say in this video, however, is that both of these balls have the same layout, which we'll show you here. Uh, for me, that makes it 30 by four and a half by 30. And then the finish on both of these are finished at a 3000 finish. So we'll see you guys on the lanes. All right, first shot with the Sunstorm. Uh, I'm gonna start over about 28. Seems like it's hooking a little more today than the last time I threw this. So get it out to 10. Look at that. Try to show the same shot. That looks good. Yeah. All right, and then here's my first shot throwing the Sunstorm. Yeah, you're gonna notice that this video, both of these balls are gonna be very, very, very smooth. Four for four to start? I'm gonna throw it from the same place just to see. I think I'm gonna have to move left after this, but we'll find out. Maybe not. That looked like it shaped a little more it did. too. Get it out to about the same place. Split Rigged. Behind. Huh? Rigged. <laughs> All right, so here's my first shot with the TNT. I'm gonna move two left off where I was with the Sunstorm. Oh, nice. Okay, so that was, that was pretty lucky. So I'm gonna move one left off that. See if I can get it to be a little bit more flush. First miss was oh, a big pull. Oh, bad miss. And my seven. Wow. How was your first miss of blower seven? Because <laughs> I leave it. And then got in a little? No, I threw too fast. We're back into the sunstorm. I am going to stay a little straighter with this one because of the core and cover combo. All right, same spot, but I'm going to move my eyes right or just really make sure I get this one going right. Let it come off the friction. There we go. Try to get this back out right where it should be. Good hit. All right, a couple shots here with me with the TNT, and then we'll take our first little break here. This TNT is just so good. All right, so we're coming off the lanes after throwing the TNT and the Sunstorm for the first time. And for me, what I'm seeing is that these motions are very similar, but I think the big difference is that the TNT feels a little stronger. Yeah, a couple right. boards. 
Yeah, and I think it's even more than just a couple boards. I think that when you miss left, for me, with the Sunstorm, it does nothing. Yeah, right. And then when you miss in with the TNT, it feels like... Like I said, when I missed in with the TNT, it left the split. Yeah. You well, miss yeah, in, well, it charges I, I big forward that one yeah. shot where I missed yeah. in. So that tells me that it's more versatile, stronger. I don't know about stronger cover, but I definitely think that that huge difference in differential, I think it's from Probably. 029 to 051. Yeah. That huge difference in differential is what I think is going to make it worth it for the most players. Right. You know, unless you just want to spend 300 bucks on a Sunstorm. But for it's me... pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. It gets dirty <laughs> fast, though. Yeah, it does. For After me, three balls, you got a black streak on Yeah, I think for me, I'm just always going to use the TNT instead of the sun So we're going to get back on the lanes. Uh, continue to, I'm for sure going to chase the TNT line. Definitely. I'm probably going to stay a little straighter with the, the sun yeah. yeah. All right, let's get on the lanes. Dude, that ball looks good. Good shot. I missed left. I said good shot on you 410, but let it come in. Like that. All right, now I'm in the sunstorm. Like I said, I'm going to stay a little straighter with the sunstorm. All right, let's straighten everything out. Move our feet right, move our eyes left. Right again. All right. Yeah. All right, this time, try to get the ball to come off my hand better. I turned that one early, missed way left. That's better. Much better shot. Or so with the TNT over the substorm. Hook. Hook. Yeah. Come on. And then I'm gonna stay left. This is gonna end up being like eight left of the sunstorm. Yeah, I just have the TNT so much more versatile. Plus I can chase it in faster without sacrificing down lane motion. Hey, threw that pretty bad. All right, let's 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 throw one better for you guys here. That last couple were pretty bad. There we go. All right, so coming off the second group of shots, I'm just seeing more of the same. Mm -hmm. And as the lanes transition, I find myself actually moving in with the TNT, whereas the Sunstorm is forcing me to play a little bit straighter. And that's where that versatility comes from. Like, I feel like I'm trapped in a, like in a window or a closet, if you, if you, if you will. Oh, with the Sunstorm? With the Sunstorm, yeah. where I have to, where as a TNT, I feel free. You're getting tighter and tighter and tighter, yeah. Yeah, whereas the, the TNT, I can just get left. Yeah. What, what do you think? Same thing. There's like seven or eight boards difference. Um, playing more. Like you said, straight up with the with the Sunstorm TNT, I could even probably get further left after the last shot. All right, let's do it. Bet. See what it does. All right, let's get back on the lines. All right, hit about 12 at the arrows and get it out to five. Oh, I missed it. Oh, time to chase that left. Missed it three times. All right, so this first shot here, the sunstorm is going to be from where I was just striking at with the TNT to show you guys, and then I'll move back right. Yeah, super flat ten. Yep. All right, so coming off that super flat ten, I'm going to move like five right. I'm at about 20, 21 on my feet here. Let's see how this looks.
Patrick got nine. Hooks way too. I can't get left like Chris. Oops. Throw a shot here for the last one. Good one. That's good. All right, let's throw one more. I'll move one more back right and see if I can't get it to be flush. This will be the last shot of the video here, no matter what. So now we're all done comparing the Sunstorm and the Rotor Grip TNT. And I think it's pretty hilarious just how much stronger the TNT is. Yeah, it's like my last shot I have to Craig. I said I was on 36, I was on 40, 41. Yeah, to me, I think the combination of really strong cover and really weak core in the Sunstorm, for me, it's like kind of fighting and stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. If I was playing, if I had to play closer to the right. friction on a short Depending pattern, on the shot, right. I think that the Sunstorm would be better. Yeah. Um, but on a house shot where it's usually a race left, like you gotta go with the TNT. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you know, like I can say like, whatever I want. You standing know, standing on forty and playing fifth arrow. I mean, I mean that's your wheelhouse. Yeah, and that's like, kind of my home. Even for someone like me, like a strong symmetric solid, to still be able to play left and create that shape, I think it, it's a good it's feeling a, to yeah, have. Yeah, for sure, it is. And I think after I redid the out of box surface, um, I think in the initial review I said that. The TNT was just going to be a ball that I was going to throw in one window and one window only. At the only. beginning of the first game until it was like, yeah. Correct, right. yeah, but now that I redid the surface, I hit it with a 500, 2,000, 3,000. Way better. It's way better, more versatile. Okay. I'm actually able to chase it left, and I learned that at league. Yeah. But I started with it pretty straight, and I kind of bellied it a little bit more. So if you don't like that TNT out the box, definitely Best consider it, yeah. resurfacing definitely. it. So thank you guys for joining us in today's video. Uh, we appreciate it. Click right here to watch another video. Click right here to subscribe. Until next time.